In this video, we will look at how to use LT Spice to find the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance. Recall that the Thevenin voltage is the open circuit voltage between the terminals of interest. The Thevenin resistance can be found using three different methods depending upon the circuit elements that make up the given circuit of interest. For circuits containing independent sources only, or circuits containing both independent and dependent sources, we can use LT Spice to directly find the open circuit voltage and also the short circuit current. Consider this given circuit of interest. This circuit has independent sources only and its V Thevenin and R Thevenin values are shown here. We can use LT Spice to find these values as follows. First, connect a test current source between the terminals of interest as shown here. I test. Next, we run a DC sweep for this I test current source magnitude. When I test is equal to 0 amps, then this means that there is an open circuit between the terminals of interest then the voltage VAB gives us the Thevenin voltage. Similarly, we run a DC sweep for the magnitude of I test and find the value when VAB is equal to 0 volt, when I test has such a magnitude that the voltage between terminals of interest is 0 volts, then this corresponds to a short circuit between the terminals and then the test source magnitude gives us I short circuit. Once we find V Thevenin and I short circuit, we can find R Thevenin using this relationship. This is the circuit of interest constructed in LT Spice. We are using a test DC current source having a nominal 1 amp magnitude. Remember that the current source direction must be as indicated here. We are running a DC sweep command. This can be accessed by going to simulate and edit simulation command. We have chosen a DC sweep for the test current source over uh, this range and this increment. So when we run, then we need, we are interested in the voltage across the current source with respect to the ground. And in this plot, when the test source magnitude is zero, then reading the value of the voltage, which is 32 volts, gives us V Thevenin. And similarly, when voltage is zero volts, we read the test current source magnitude and this is 4 amps. So this means I short circuit is 4 amps and V Thevenin is 32 volts. For this circuit, we have found using LT Spice that V Thevenin is 32 volts and I short circuit is 4 amps. Thus, R Thevenin is equal to 8 ohms as expected. So this shows how we can use LT Spice to determine the Thevenin voltage and resistance for circuits containing independent sources only. This same approach works when the circuit contains both independent and dependent sources. Consider this circuit of interest which has Thevenin equivalent circuit parameters as shown here. We can connect a test current source as shown here and then run a DC sweep for the test source magnitude. When the test source magnitude is 0 amps, the voltage VAB is equal to the Thevenin voltage and then we find the value of I test magnitude when VAB is equal to 0 and that gives us I short circuit. This is the given circuit of interest uh, constructed in LT Spice. Please note that this V test source is to enable this is to enable the configuration of this dependent source. 
This is the test current source that is connected in order to find the Thevenin parameters and we are running a DC sweep. So running this and we are interested in the voltage across the test source. Here we can see that when the test source magnitude is 0 amps, the Thevenin voltage is 8 volts and this value can be read in the bottom left corner. Similarly, when this voltage go is 0 volts, the current source magnitude is 8 amps. So this gives us I short circuit. Using LTSpice, we have shown that V Thevenin is 8 volts and I short circuit is 8 amps. Therefore, R Thevenin is 1 ohm as expected. So this shows how we can find the Thevenin parameters for circuits containing both independent and dependent sources using LTSpice. Finally, let's consider the case when the circuit contains dependent sources only. For when the circuit contains dependent sources only, then by definition V Thevenin is 0 volts and the only task is to find R Thevenin. For this, the test source method can be used. That is, we can connect a test voltage source or a test current source between the terminals of interest. And then by finding the ratio of VT to IT, we can find R Thevenin. Consider this circuit of interest, which has one dependent source. And the Thevenin resistance for this circuit is given here. Let's see how we can use LTSpice to find this value. This is the given circuit of interest constructed in LTSpice. Please note that this test voltage source is to do with proper configuration of the dependent source. This is the test source connected for the purpose of finding the Thevenin resistance. So here the value of IT is 1 amp. We can run this simulation. For this uh, circuit, we only need to find the DC operating point. We do not need to run any DC sweep. So when we simulate, we can get the operating point results. We are interested in the voltage here. So we can right click and place at a dot op data label. And this tells us that the voltage across this test source is minus 4 volts. Therefore, Vt is minus 4 volt and It is 1 amp. Using LTSpice, we have shown that It is equal to 1 amp and Vt is minus 4 volt. Therefore, R Thevenin is minus 4 ohm as expected. So this shows how the test source method can be used in LTSpice to find R Thevenin for circuits containing dependent sources only.